question is um, shouting out, uh, it's about lower bounds and upper bounds. How do we know that? Well, we can see that they've given us some values for the lengths of uh, lines correct to given accuracies. The question also then says calculate the upper bounds. That's another big clue that this is about upper bounds and lower bounds. But they quite often might not say those words, and therefore you've got to kind of work with what the information tells you. Correct to one decimal place, nearest to nearest to uh, one tenth, that kind of stuff. Then they're shouting out at you. Use the principle of upper bounds and lower bounds. Calculate the upper bounds of the area. So basically, we need to find out what the upper bound and lower bound is for the lengths, and we should be thinking that the upper bound is going to be 8.35 and the lower bound is going to be 8.25 and for B it's going to be upper bound of 3.65 and a lower bound of 3.55. Now again just to remind you that the way these bounds work is that they gave you an accuracy so say for A it was 8.3 um, but it could have been 8.2 or it could have been 8.4 but they didn't they gave the accuracy as this one 8.3 so the boundaries have to be the halfway points. So that's why we end up with a boundary of 8.25 for the lower bound and 8.35 for the upper bound. They are boundaries. Although technically we should put a less than sign there because that boundary can't actually be happening. Um, but it is a boundary, so we allow that number to have a 5 on the end. It says calculate the upper bound of the area. So we recognize the area is the length of A times the width of B. We want the upper bound, so in other words we want the largest possible value. So that means we need to use the upper bound of A times by the upper bound of B. And the question says write down all the figures. So 8.35 times 3.65 equals. So we've got 3.0.4775. So that's going to be the upper bound of the area. It says find the area of the rectangle correct to an appropriate number of significant figures. Well, they're giving you a clue here that they've already asked you to calculate the upper bound. So you also need the lower bound. Because then you can look at both of these bounds and say which um, value would be the best one to use for the area of the actual rectangle. So the lower bound must be the lowest values multiplied together, the lowest value of A possible and the lowest value of B possible. So the lower bound is going to be 8.25 times 3.55. So 8.25 times 3.55 equals, so we've got 29.2875. So square centimeters of course. So basically what we're doing is we're comparing to the upper bound of 30.4475 square centimetres. So what we should be asking ourselves is if we do these numbers to three significant figures then this number here to three significant figures would be 29.3 one, two, three figures needed that one changes that one up by one five or more so that goes to three this would be five or more so this goes to five so that would be 30.5 they're not the same because it says correct to an appropriate number of significant figures, which means that we're looking for these two values to be the same. So then we do two significant figures, and for this question in here, two significant figures would be one, two, that two doesn't change that, so that'd be 29. Two significant figures for this number, one, two, the four doesn't change the zero, so that'd be 30. So they're not the same there either. So basically we come back to one significant figure, and this, this number here to one significant figure well, the first non-zero digit is 2, so the tens column. So this to the nearest 10 would be 30. And this is in the tens column as well, so the nearest number would be 30 again. So, so to one significant figure, they both give an answer of 30. So the appropriate number of significant figures is... 30. One significant figure. So that's an example of using the upper bounds and lower bounds and recognizing how we can calculate the upper bound and lower bound of areas of rectangles and 
then comparing the two values for the lower bound and upper bound to write down what would be a sensible area to say. So for this particular rectangle, we'd say that the area is 30 square centimetres, given these two values here.